Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to give my review for Merry Swissmas. This is the Lifetime, I think this is the first Lifetime Christmas movie to premiere this year. Um, you have Jody Sweeten as Alex and Tim Rosen as Jesse. Um, uh, so... Jody's character Alex, she's come. She comes home. Well, not home. She goes to help her mom with her hotel opening that she's opening up in Switzerland. Um, and she that's where she runs into Rosen's character. He is actually the one sort of running the the hotel, helping the, with the opening as well. And they get they meet. Um, they start hanging out. He helps her with the situation with the best. So he helps her some with the situation with her best friend because there's also a best friend storyline where her used to once best friend ended up getting with her ex boyfriend, um, and they're still together. Uh, so she's upset with her, so it kind of ruined their friendship. Uh, so he had he in a way helps her to over to forgive her um and put that in the past um uh, and there's a little more of a drama to it because you have a a, a uh, little boy in this that his mom he is Tim Rosen's character uh Jamie or Jesse he is his son um they're his wife her, the kid's mom had passed away, and they had all these little things they would do around Christmas time. And so, as <coughs> um, Alex and Jesse are connecting, uh, there's also a little pushback because he knows that she's going to be gone and not going to be around. And uh, he doesn't want his son to be hurt again. He doesn't want to be hurt again. Um, but in the end, like normal fashion, they end up together, uh, one big happy family. Um, and, uh, but I really enjoyed this one. Um, I think. They did good. They did very well in the storyline, making it make sense how a lot of them were speaking uh, clear, like English, like we talk. Um, they do use some uh, specific words and stuff for over Switzer Switzerland for different things. They do some. They show some of the Christmas traditions that they have over there. Um, so that was nice. Um, the the dramatic moments with the little boy um, was really uh, really uh, they did really well with them, making you feel that sadness. Well, at least for me, I I felt it. Um, and just I I thought there was great. There was really good chemistry between uh, Tim. And Jody, I thought they did really well with the chemistry in their chemistry with each other. I thought the kiss was really good. Um, I really didn't have an issue with this. I thought the the situation with the best friend. I think people can, you know, if somebody came up to me and said, "Well, I think they he she, you know they didn't." explore that enough they didn't uh have them reconcile longer that they went too fast they reconciled too fast i can i can't argue that i think you know that that could be one of the one of the, the small flaws for this is they kind of uh reconcile this issue really fast especially because she we find out that they're actually engaged. Like after they, after she finally forgives her about dating him and, and them still being together and stuff, uh, she finds out later that they're actually engaged because he he ends up showing up 
uh, about halfway to three fourths of the way through the movie, he ends up show uh, her ex boyfriend ends up showing up because he's there with to be with you know her best friend and because they're together, so he's trying he's there to be with her for Christmas, and he lets it, the cat out of the bag that you know we're engaged, so she gets reached re gets mad again, but then ends up forgiving her again. So I I can't argue that that was kind of a rush thing. Was it really needed? No, I think we could have we could have done without that storyline, honestly. Too, um, I think the, the we just didn't need that drama necessarily. Um, I think they could have done the storyline, just tweaked just a few things in the storyline, and just made it about Tim and Jody's characters, and just focused on that. The re you know, for the entire movie, and not the best friend, but. Um, it was still okay. I didn't really, I didn't fault it for it. It still worked. So overall, I gave this a five out of five. I thought this was a very well, very well done movie. I could be biased because um, I love Jodie Sweetin so much. So you know, most of the things I've seen Jodie in, I've loved and have given five out of five. So you know, this movie may not be for everyone. It may not be a perfect score for everyone, which probably not going to be. Um, but that's just me, you know, I, I love Jody Sweden, so call me biased if you want, but <laughs> it, uh, she, I, I've loved it about every movie she's done, so she's one of my favorites, so, um, but, yeah, five out of five for Merry Swissmas, uh, that is everything for this review, so please come like, subscribe, hit the bell, be notified for our videos, and we will see you all in the next one.